Now, let's talk about the different kinds of exchanges. Now that I know I have to replace cash and debt, it has to be into investment real estate. In fact, I'm going to bring up a question that somebody brought up to me when we were talking a little bit beforehand. Hey, can I do an exchange into a property? I know I have to buy it with the intent to hold for investment. But what happens? Can I move into it? And then live in it for two years? And then sell it? And take my 500 grand or 250, whatever applies? Can I do that? Yes. Got to be careful. Because the IRS says you have to buy with the intent to do what? Hold for investment. The IRS says you have to hold it for investment. I understand that. But how long do I have to hold it before I can move in? The answer is the IRS won't tell you. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because if they told you, that's what you do. Right? Therefore, you never really had the intent to hold.